Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to import an archived project. This will save you a bit of time. So right click, select import, and import from file system or archive. Click on the archive selector and select your archived zip file. What you'll be presented with options, select the STM cube ID project and click finish. And the project should appear in your project explorer. So if you open the project, examine it, make sure that uh, all the support files, utility files are there. And right click on the project itself and go to properties. Uh, it's always a good idea to check the C, C++ build environment. So go to settings, preprocessor. For the disco board, we need the correct rev03 compiler directive and also we need to point to the BSP files. So these are as uh, set up in previous videos. Open up main.c and you'll see if you want to get the touch screen enabled, create a touch type. And I've also added a Puchar prototype, which we're going to use to print F to the UART of the um, STM32. You'll find this which our prototype in the example down in the bottom after the GPIO setup. You'll see that it uses HAL UART transmit. This will enable us to use the standard function printf, which will get overridden. So on a Mac, if you open terminal and you look for your virtual COM port, and use the screen function. Then when you run your code, you'll be able to print to the terminal. So if I run this code now, we'll see that we see LCD is go, touch screen is go when we run the code. Equally on a PC, you might want to use TerraTerm. You set that up accordingly.